First of all, I don't know anything about the show except for Barney the Dinosaur, and I have not yet watched any other episodes, but I don't want to watch any after seeing this one. It all started when I finished work and was on my way home. When I was five minutes into my trip, I spotted a Walmart. I thought to myself, I should go in and get a movie because all of my movies sucked. So I went inside and found some. A few good ones, surprisingly. Just when I was about to make my way to pay, I stepped on something plastic. I looked down and saw a DVD case called Barney and Friends, then picked it up and examined it. It said it had six episodes, but the names were scribbled out with marker, and it had little scratches on the case. I was fine with that though, I wasn't going to be watching the case. So I went to pay for my movies and the DVD, and the whole thing came to about $8. I went home and put in my movies first, and they were awesome. But afterwards, I still had some time left and remembered the Barney DVD I got from Walmart. I initially had just gotten it to give to my little cousin or something. But the fact that the episodes were crossed out on the cover kind of intrigued me. I put it in my player and it wouldn't start. I checked the DVD but it was clean and there wasn't any damage. So I tried it again and that time it worked. The main menu popped up, its background being just a white screen with no music, and the titles written in Comic Sans, which was strange but I didn't think too much of it. The menu had four options, play all, episode selection, options, and the fourth one was just complete gibberish. I tried options first. It just showed another white blank screen. Disturbing, I thought. There was no button to go back to the menu, so I had to take the DVD out and put it back in again. It opened up with the main menu, and I pressed play all. The episode started out with Barney. Only he was sad, and sitting on a wooden bench. He didn't speak and was sitting there for what felt like forever, until he finally said something. Nobody loves me anymore. I'll teach them a lesson. He looked up at the camera and smiled, but it felt like he wasn't smiling at the camera. It felt like he was smiling at me. I already felt like I kind of should turn it off, but... For some reason, I just had to keep watching. I went to the next scene, and this is the part where the episode got weird. A child was walking down the road, and Barney came out and scared him. The kid tried to run away from him, but Barney grabbed his leg and dragged him off the road. He then ripped at the leg so hard, the entire thing came off. I was horrified by this and covered my eyes with a pillow just barely peeking out to watch the rest. What was this DVD? And how did it get into Walmart? I thought. Which made me consider that maybe someone had left it there on purpose. Barney was eating his leg and seemed to be enjoying it. He ate it till there was nothing left. Then he dragged the child back and started eating at his stomach. All it showed was the back of Barney doing this for like three minutes. In the meantime, I ran to the kitchen sink because I couldn't even make it to the bathroom and started throwing up. The blood from the scene was so real, it was like I'd witnessed a crime scene. I was about to call 911, but I accidentally dropped my cell phone on the floor and it shattered. Walking back to the living room, I saw that it was playing the next scene now. It was a little girl playing on a playground. The girl's age was about three or four, and she was going down the slide until Barney showed up and spoke to her. What are you doing? Barney said to the girl in a very deep, unsettling voice. The girl didn't reply. At this point, Barney got angry, and I could see his eyes turning red. He then started to chew on the little girl's face as well. I couldn't look. I was so scared. I heard her screaming but couldn't bear to look. Then after finally unburying my face from a pillow, I heard Barney speak. I took care of everyone else. Now it's time to take care of me. He slowly pulled out a gun and put it to his head. Then a gunshot sound went off, and it just showed Barney laying on the ground for the rest of the episode. 
Then as it ended, the DVD player just popped open. I'd never seen anything like that before. How did it know it was over? I grabbed the DVD and brought it outside. I started smashing it with my baseball bat. I then brought it to the woods next to my house and buried the remains. I called the police and reported it to them after that, but never really found out if anything came of it. I think they just assumed it was some kind of prank and that somebody had just left it at Walmart on purpose for someone to find. But if you had seen it, you would know it was something much more than that. There was true evil on that DVD. If you ever find a copy somewhere, never ever watch it. Try to burn it or smash it if you can. If you do see it, I can assure you, you'll never be the same. I speak from experience. <laughs>